Hey, Dr. Legrand here. Welcome to my channel, where we bring you insightful, fun, and educational videos on all things pertaining to health. In this video, I'm going to talk about how fasting can eat old scar tissue and how fasting can renew our immune system. So when I say old scar tissue, I'm actually talking about scar tissue that we get from, you know, from a nasty bike ride or even just a scar that we got from a cut or even from surgery internal scars that we can get. These are just some examples of old scars that we can have or even just worn out cells in the body that when we go through fasting, those scars and old scars can actually be reduced through fasting. Now, how does it do this? I talked about before, and if you haven't already watched my video on the physiology of fasting, please watch that, and I'll put a link up here. And in that video, I talk about how there is certain stages in fasting, and one of those stages is after the body, when it's been fasting for a while, we've talked about how it goes through ketosis and it starts breaking down fat cells to use for energy, okay? But the other thing, it also eventually, the brain actually wants other proteins. So it goes for the non-essential proteins. It doesn't jump right to back to our vital organs just quite yet. It'll actually go to our non-essential proteins. And these non-essential proteins are our scar tissues. These non-essential proteins that our body doesn't really need and starts eating away, gobbling up just like a Pac-Man, eating up all those scar tissue and even worn out cells that our body really doesn't need. And which is actually really miraculous and people really can find that benefit through fasting. Now again, I always have to emphasize this, when it comes to actually getting old, old scar tissue, you do have to do prolonged fast. And I do not recommend doing a prolonged fast until you have talked to your doctor first. You must talk to your doctor first, or at least go to a facility where you're going to be monitored. But, like I said before, if you are doing a prolonged fast, one of those benefits is, is actually reducing old scar tissue because the brain is going to want to eat away those non-essential proteins to get actual some kind of glucose, which the brain always wants. Another great thing about fasting is it can actually stimulate our immune system or renew our immune system. It's like recruiting a new, younger, healthier immune system for our body. Because over time, our immune system can be really lacking. And by doing this, we actually are cleaning our blood and lowering the inflammation in the body. So the first thing that actually happens is the white blood cells, when we are fasting, our white blood cell count will reduce as the body is eliminating older, damaged, and worn out cells. It is also recycling these cells to be reused for tissue repair and also for energy during the fast. As the white blood cells fall in the first two to four days of fasting, so do levels of insulin-like growth factor one, which is a hormone that is linked to increased risks of tumors and cancers, which is really phenomenal when you really think about it, what fasting really can do for your body. The other thing is protein kinase A levels also do fall, which does signal to our stem cells to go into regeneration, which is also transformation mode, meaning that it can transform into any type of cell in the body. And this could mean such as heart cells, liver cells, bone cells, blood cells, etc. Any of these stem cells can actually produce any of these types of cells. This also signals to increase microphages, which are the white blood cells that eat invaders in the body. It also increases other important immune cells. So in other words, it really does help increase the body's defenses. You could say that fasting is what helps exchange out an old immune system for a new one that is much younger, healthier, and efficient against eternal and external invaders. Wow, this is so miraculous that just fasting can really actually promote our immune system and reducing scar tissue. For today's question of the day, I would like to know how has fasting benefited you hmm. if you've ever done a water fast? And if you hmm. do have any health questions that you would like to be answered in my next video, please do leave a comment in the comment section below. To find out about the other two benefits of fasting, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can be alerted when I post those videos. And also make sure to click on that bell so you can also be alerted. Give me a big thumbs up if you've ever done a water fast 
or if you just like this video. And if you have not already watched my other videos on fasting, make sure to click on the links here. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Docere, Doctor as Teacher.